Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is defanging an IP address. So in this question, we are given an IPv4 address of string data type. So here is the input string given to us and we have to return a defanged version of that IP address. So in a defanged IP address, we replace the period by wrapping it with square brackets. So if you take a look at the example one, this is the input string given to us. Wherever there is a period, replace that with a defined uh, IP address string uh, by wrapping it with a square bracket. And here too, wherever there is a period, we replace that period by wrapping that period with square brackets. So let's take the first example and see how we are going to solve it. So this is the input given to us. Now to start off with, let us declare a string builder to form our output. Later we'll convert that string builder because we have to return a string. So string builder will be converted into a string and returned as the output. So I'm creating a string builder which is initially empty. And now let's convert this input string into an array. So I'll convert it into a character array. So this will be converted into. So this will make our accessing of the input array easier. So I'll iterate through the input array from left to right. So this character array will have indexes from 0 until the end. So I start with the first character. So ch is pointing at this. So I check if ch is equal to a character. If it is equal to a character other than a period, I directly append that character into the string builder. So ch is pointing at a character other than a period. So I append it into the string builder and move ch further. So ch is now pointing here. It is a period. So I append this part as its replacement. So I append this into the string builder. So this will be appended as a string and move ch forward. ch is now pointing at 1. 1 is not a period so append it as it is. Move ch further. ch is pointing at a period. So replace that period with this string and move ch forward. ch is pointing at a non-period character. So append it as it is. Move ch forward. ch is pointing at a period so replace it with this string and move ch forward. ch is pointing at 1 which is a non-period character so append it as it is and move ch forward and we reached the end of the character array which is the representation of the input string. So we end our iteration. Now we have our output in the form of a string builder but the return type is a string. So we convert this into a string using the two string method. So this will be converted into a string and this is our output which is what we are expecting here. So let's implement these steps in a Java program. So this is the input function given to us and this is the input string address and the return type is a string so you have to return a string. So I start off by creating a string builder which is empty and I'm creating a character array by converting this input string into a character array using the toCar array method. And now I'm iterating through the character array by accessing each character at a time. If it is a period then I append this string if normal character. So if it is not a period, I append that character as it is. So this will happen for all the elements and once the for loop ends, it will come out and we convert that string builder into a string because the return type is a string. So this will be our output. So the time complexity of this approach is O of n where n is the length of the input address given to us and the space complexity is O of n because we are using a string builder to form our output. So it is better to use a string builder than directly appending uh, the output to a string because in string builder insertions will take o of 1 time inside a loop whereas if you append it into a new string it will take o of n times to append it inside a loop so that is why it is better to use a string builder that's it guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video